Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the instrumentation amplifier based circuit. And here, we have been given that in the given circuit, the value of R is equal to 4.5 kilo ohm, while the value of the delta R is equal to 1.5 kilo ohm. And here, the given instrumentation amplifier is the ideal one. So here, we have been asked to find the equivalent resistance between the terminal A and the B. So here, we have been given that the given instrumentation amplifier is the ideal amplifier. That means here, no current is flowing into these two terminals. So here, to find the equivalent resistance between these two terminals, first of all, let us remove the instrumentation amplifier from the given circuit. So here, we have been given that the value of R is equal to 4.5 kilo ohm, while the delta R is equal to 1.5 kilo ohm. That means here, these two resistors will become 6 kilo ohm while the other two resistors will be equal to 3 kilo ohm. So here, to find the equivalent resistance between these two terminals, let us remove all the independent sources in the circuit. That means here, we need to replace all the voltage source by the short circuit and we need to replace all the current source in the circuit by the open circuit. So here, since the given circuit only consists of the voltage source, so we will replace it by the short circuit. So now, if you observe over here, then at this node A, this 3 kilo ohm resistor and the 6 kilo ohm resistors are connected at the one end. And if you see the other end, then through this short circuit, they are also connected together. So we can say that this 3 kilo ohm resistor and this 6 kilo ohm resistor are connected in the parallel connection. And equivalently, it will look like this. Similarly, at the other node also, if you see, then at this node, these two resistors are also connected at the one end. And if you see the other end of these two resistors, then once again, through a short circuit, they are also connected together. That means once again, the 6 kilo ohm and the 3 kilo ohm resistors are also connected in the parallel connection. And if you see the other end of these two resistors, then it is also connected with this 3 kilo ohm and the 6 kilo ohm resistor. Or we can say that it is connected in series with this parallel combination. So now as you can see, it is easy to find the equivalent resistance between these two nodes. So here, if you see the parallel combination of these two resistors, then that is equal to 3 times 6 divided by 3 plus 6 kilo ohm. And that is equal to 2 kilo ohm. That means the parallel combination of these two resistors is equal to 2 kilo ohm. And likewise, the parallel combination of these two resistors also will be equal to 2 kilo ohm. So we can say that over here, these 2 kilo ohm resistors are connected in the series connection. Or if you see the equivalent resistance between the terminal A and B, then that is equal to 4 kilo ohm. So from this we can say that for the given circuit, the equivalent resistance between the terminal A and B is equal to 4 kilo ohm.